Jennifer Pan's childhood was filled with joyous moments, akin to riding a bike with the wind in her hair, laughing and playing with friends until dusk painted the sky, and eagerly participating in a myriad of fun activities that sparked her youthful imagination. From carefree afternoons spent exploring the neighborhood to lively games of tag in the backyard, Jennifer reveled in the simple pleasures of childhood, buoyed by the unconditional love and support of her parents. What could drive a treasured daughter to hire a hitman to kill her own parents? Amidst the vibrant tapestry of the greater Toronto area, a narrative unfolds, one of aspirations unfulfilled, familial expectations, and the enduring quest for justice. But this tale is far from over, for a new chapter is still being written in the halls of justice in Canada. As we delve into the complexities of Jennifer Pan's story, prepare to embark on a journey that defies expectations and challenges perceptions. Stay tuned until the end, for the twists and turns of this saga continue to unfold, revealing the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In the tranquil suburban landscape of Unionville Markham, Jennifer Pan's life initially unfolded against a backdrop of familial love and immigrant aspirations. Born into a Canadian household in 1986, Jennifer enjoyed the nurturing embrace of her parents, Hue Han Pan and Beach Ha Pan, who had immigrated from Vietnam, seeking refuge and opportunity. Her upbringing was steeped in the values of hard work and ambition, typical of many immigrant families striving for a better life in their adopted homeland. From an early age, Jennifer was enveloped in the warmth of her family's affection, pursuing interests such as figure skating and music, while her parents diligently carved out their place in the fabric of Canadian society. However, beneath this idyllic surface lay a tumultuous undercurrent of pressure and expectations, which would ultimately unravel in a tragic tale of deception, betrayal, and unfathomable loss. Born on June 17, 1986, to Bik Ha and Hue Han Pan, Jennifer was the embodiment of her parents' hopes and aspirations, a shining beacon of promise in a new land. But behind the facade of success lay a young woman burdened by the weight of unattainable expectations. From the tender age of four, Jennifer's days were meticulously planned, filled with piano recitals, figure skating lessons, and the relentless pursuit of academic excellence. Yet, despite her parents' unwavering dedication to her success, Jennifer struggled to meet their sky-high standards. Jennifer was the epitome of success in the eyes of her community, and especially her parents. The Pans, determined to give their children the opportunities they never had, imposed high expectations on Jennifer. She was a symbol of hope, embodying the dreams her parents carried with them to a new country. Life in the Pan household was structured and disciplined, aiming for a future bright with promise and achievement. This idyllic narrative, however, concealed the immense pressure Jennifer faced, a pressure that would eventually lead to a tragic unraveling. As Jennifer grew older, the weight of expectations began to suffocate her, Desperate to please her parents, yet unable to meet their ever-rising standards, she started to fabricate her life. In the pursuit of perfection, Jennifer turned to deception. As she navigated the halls of Mary Ward Catholic Secondary School, the pressure to excel only intensified, casting a shadow over her every achievement. Falsified report cards became her shield against the disappointment of her parents, masking the insecurities that gnawed at her from within. Behind closed doors, she toiled away at menial jobs, desperate to maintain the illusion of success that had become her prison. Her deception included false grades, a non-existent university enrollment, and a phantom job. This double life led Jennifer into a complex web of lies that she could no longer manage. The turning point came when her parents discovered the truth, leading to stricter controls over her life. Feeling trapped and desperate for an escape, Jennifer's thoughts turned dark culminating in the unthinkable plan to hire hitmen to kill her own parents. Jennifer's spiral into deceit and desperation reached its nadir in the spring of 2010. Driven by the suffocating grip of parental expectations and the allure of financial gain, she hatched a sinister plan with her forbidden lover, Daniel Chi Kuang Wong. Together, they conspired to orchestrate a heinous act that would forever alter the course of their and their conspirators' lives. As Jennifer's web of lies grew ever more tangled, so too did the complexity of her situation. In a bid to secure her freedom, she reached out to Andrew Montemayor, a high school acquaintance with a checkered past. Their fateful encounter set in motion a chain of events that would culminate in tragedy, leaving a community reeling in disbelief. As Jennifer Pan's desperation reached its zenith, 
She found herself at a crossroads, grappling with the suffocating weight of familial expectations and the relentless pursuit of freedom. In a fateful moment of desperation, Jennifer made a decision that would forever alter the course of her life and those around her. She resolved to enlist the help of a hitman, concocting a chilling plan to eliminate the perceived obstacles standing in the way of her autonomy. With her forbidden lover, Daniel Wong, by her side, Jennifer meticulously plotted the details of the attack, a phony home invasion designed to mask the true motive behind the violence. The plan was as audacious as it was sinister, with Jennifer calculating that the staged robbery would provide the perfect cover for her heinous intentions. In the dark of night, as the Pan household lay unsuspecting, Jennifer set her plan into motion, unaware of the devastating consequences that awaited. The night of the attack was a harrowing ordeal, resulting in the death of her mother and the severe wounding of her father. On that fateful November night, as darkness descended upon the Pan household, Jennifer's carefully constructed facade began to crumble. The sound of gunfire shattered the tranquility of the suburban neighborhood, leaving behind a trail of devastation in its wake. In the aftermath of the chaos, Jennifer's mother lay lifeless, her father gravely wounded, and the once promising future she had envisioned lay in ruins. The question of what drives a person to commit such a heinous act against their own family is complex. In Jennifer's case, it was a toxic mix of desperation for autonomy, the crushing weight of unattainable expectations, and a profound fear of failure. Her actions, though inexcusable, shed light on the dark side of parental pressure and the extremes one might go to for a semblance of freedom. Jennifer's story is a cautionary tale of the potential consequences of forcing one's own unfulfilled ambitions onto another, highlighting the psychological strain and breakdown of familial relationships that can result from such pressures. As the sun set on the tranquil streets of Unionville Markham, the wheels of justice began to turn, launching a painstaking police investigation that would unravel the intricate web of deceit surrounding Jennifer Pan's orchestrated tragedy. The police investigation, initially misled by Jennifer's portrayal of a home invasion, gradually uncovered the horrifying truth behind the facade. Over the course of months, detectives sifted through a labyrinth of lies and half-truths, piecing together fragments of evidence like shards of a shattered mirror. What began as a routine homicide inquiry soon morphed into a complex puzzle, fraught with unexpected twists and turns. Surprises lurked around every corner, from falsified report cards to clandestine meetings with co-conspirators. Yet amidst the chaos, a portrait of deception began to emerge, painting Jennifer Pan as the architect of her family's downfall. As the investigation unfolded, the true scope of Jennifer's betrayal came into focus, leaving investigators grappling with the grim reality of a daughter's desperate bid for freedom at any cost. Following an exhaustive investigation marked by twists and turns, the authorities made a chilling revelation. Jennifer Pan stood accused of orchestrating the brutal attack that claimed the life of her mother and left her father critically wounded. Charged with first-degree murder and attempted murder, Jennifer's arrest sent shockwaves through the community, shattering the facade of suburban tranquility. As the legal process unfolded, Jennifer found herself thrust into the heart of a high-profile trial that would captivate the nation. Despite vehement protests of innocence, she remained behind bars, her bail denied as the gravity of the charges weighed heavily upon her. In the absence of bail, Jennifer awaited trial in confinement her days marked by uncertainty and apprehension as she prepared to face the consequences of her alleged actions in a court of law. Finally, in 2014, the halls of justice bore witness to a trial that would captivate the nation and shatter the illusions of suburban tranquility. Jennifer Pan, then 28 years old, stood accused of orchestrating a heinous crime that would forever stain the fabric of her family and community. The prosecution painted a damning picture of Jennifer Pan as the mastermind behind a calculated plot to end the lives of her own parents. Charged with first-degree murder and attempted murder, Jennifer faced the full weight of the legal system as she stood trial alongside her co-accused. Her on-again, off-again boyfriend Daniel Wong, Lenford Crawford, and David Milvaganum. As the trial unfolded, the courtroom became a stage for the collision of truth and deception as witnesses recounted the events leading up to that fateful November night. Testimony revealed a web of lies and deceit spun by Jennifer in a desperate bid to escape the suffocating grip of parental expectations. Falsified report cards, 
fabricated university enrollment, and clandestine meetings with co-conspirators formed the backdrop of a narrative fraught with betrayal and desperation. Despite Jennifer's protestations of innocence, the jury delivered a verdict that echoed through the halls of the courthouse, a unanimous declaration of guilt on all counts. Sentenced to life in prison, without the possibility of parole for 25 years, Jennifer Pan's fate seemed sealed, a grim reminder of the consequences of ambition unchecked and the lengths one might go to escape the shadows of expectation. As the echoes of the gavel faded and Jennifer was led away to begin her life sentence, a community grappled with the fallout of a tragedy that defied comprehension. The scars left behind by that November night ran deep, a testament to the fragility of familial bonds and the enduring quest for justice in the face of unspeakable loss. As we reflect on the events of Jennifer Pan's first trial, let us not forget the lives forever altered by the specter of violence and betrayal. May their stories serve as a stark reminder of the importance of accountability and transparency in the pursuit of justice, and the enduring resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In a world fraught with pressure and expectation, may we strive to cultivate communities of compassion, understanding, and empathy. For it is in our shared humanity that we find solace amidst the chaos and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. The story of Jennifer Pan and her family is emblematic of the unique pressures experienced by first-generation immigrants striving for success in a new land. Beach Ha and Hui Han Pan, like countless immigrants before them, carried with them the hopes and dreams of generations past as they embarked on a journey to build a better life for their family. For many first-generation immigrants, the weight of expectations is immense. A burden born not out of malice, but out of a deep-seated desire to provide their children with opportunities they themselves never had. The Pan family, like so many others, believed wholeheartedly in the promise of education and hard work as the keys to unlocking the American dream. Yet in their quest to ensure a brighter future for their children, they unwittingly contributed to a culture of unrelenting pressure and expectation. The pursuit of success became not just an individual endeavor, but a collective responsibility a duty to uphold the aspirations of an entire family. In the face of such immense pressure, the lines between ambition and obsession blur, leaving both parents and children grappling with the weight of unattainable expectations. But stay tuned, for our story is not over. Here comes the twist. We fast forward to 2023, nearly a decade after her conviction in 2014, and Jennifer Pan's story takes yet another dramatic turn. After being found guilty in 2014 of both first-degree murder and attempted murder for her role in the phony home invasion that claimed her mother's life. Jennifer Pan's fate seemed sealed, a life behind bars without the possibility of parole for 25 years. However, a glimmer of hope emerged as the Ontario Court of Appeal overturned her first-degree murder conviction in May 2023. Jennifer Pan, then 28 years old, had been sentenced in 2015 to life in prison for her role in the attack that left her mother dead and her father critically wounded. Her co-accused, including her on-again, off-again boyfriend Daniel Wong, Lenford Crawford, and David Milvaganum, faced similar fates. Yet the appellate court's decision breathed new life into Jennifer's fight for justice. For Stephanie DiGiuseppe, one of Jennifer's lawyers, the court's decision represented a landmark moment in her client's quest to clear her name. The court ruled that the trial judge had erred in only presenting two scenarios to the jury a failure to consider second-degree murder and manslaughter as potential verdicts in Beach Hapan's death. This omission cast doubt on the safety of Jennifer's conviction, prompting the court to order a new trial. The appeal court's ruling underscored the complexities of the legal system and the importance of due process in safeguarding justice. While Jennifer's attempted murder conviction stood, the decision to overturn her first-degree murder conviction signaled a critical reassessment of the evidence and the need for a fair and impartial trial. As Jennifer and her legal team contemplate their next steps, the specter of further legal proceedings looms large. The Crown has filed an application for leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada, seeking clarity on the original decision versus the appeal court's ruling. The outcome of this legal battle remains uncertain, with implications that extend far beyond Jennifer Pan's case alone. As the wheels of justice continue to turn, Jennifer's story serves as a sobering reminder of the complexities of the legal system and the enduring pursuit of truth and accountability. Amidst the legal wrangling and courtroom drama, the human toll of the tragedy, a life lost, a family shattered, remains at the forefront, 
underscoring the need for compassion and understanding in the face of unimaginable loss. As we await the resolution of Jennifer Pan's legal saga, let us not forget the lives forever changed by the events of that fateful November night. May their stories serve as a call to action, inspiring us to strive for a justice system that upholds the principles of fairness, transparency, and accountability for all. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about this case? Subscribe now for updates. Can't wait for more? Click the link above to learn about the horrific murder of a family taken at the hands of a child in The Deadly Retreat. Stay curious, stay connected. Stay with Really Unreal.